So today we shall be starting with OP arrays. We have two types of arrays, a single dimensional array, multi dimensional array. Now let's start first with single dimensional array. What is an array? What would, how would you describe an array? An array refers to contiguous memory allocation that share a common data type. So as you see here, we have the array. This is an array, or oh, the name is same, num. This is the index. An array always starts with level zero. Zero, so num zero, we have 14 stored. At num one, we have 56 stored. Num two, we have 67 stored. Num three, 78, and num four, 32. So an array is defined with a common name, but distinguished by subscript values. That's it, 0, 1, 2, 3, et 4. An array is used to display a list of values. It could be integer, it could be any other data type. How to define arrays in Java? Now, we have two, normally two ways we use it. Int, we have square bracket, open, close, num is equal to new integer type. So it's, it's going to take five spaces in my array. Here, int array num, new int, that's another way to do it. Again, square bracket here. This is one way to do it for single uh, dimensional array. 1, comma, 2. Here we have curly braces. Okay, curly braces here. Next, a single dimensional array. This is a Java example. Let's see here as we do it. We've created first, we've declared the array. Int array num, new int. Five, because we're going to have five values that will be stored in that array. Now, as I told you earlier, array starts with level zero, zero, one, two, three, four, which makes five elements. For int i is equal to zero, because we are starting with i is equal to zero, so i is less than five, i plus plus value at blah 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 the position that's how i want my my output to be all right now let's see if i run this in my command prompt d cd java it's where my file is stored so my file name is rxdemo.java java c rxdemo.java It's Java Rx demo. So as you see here, the value is 14, 56, 67, 78, 32, 46 at the zero position. First position 56, second position 67, third position 78, fourth position 32. So here it goes. Next, we have another way of doing a single dimensional array. So let's go back. Here we have a for loop. I've used a for loop because we have to go the first number, look for the second number, third, fourth, and fifth number. So one, one time it's going to go on i is equal to zero. Then it's going to run this line. Then it goes again on the second, second time, third time, fourth time. Now next here, we have another single dimensional array. Here the array has been defined within here, where we have declared the array. We've assigned the values here only, where we declared the array. As I told you earlier, 
curly braces here. Curly braces. Void arrays. For int k is good to 0, k less than 10, k plus plus. System dot target print ln value plus k. So k is the position 0 of position. The first value, second position, second value will display, etc. And we display it. So let's see our demo.java. Do I have it here? Our demo.java. Yes, so Java demo. Here it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 46 seconds set. C'est bon. Donc, this is how it displays. So, to display the elements of an array. Parce que nous avons beaucoup de, de chiffres. Donc, we have to use a for loop. Or a while loop. Whichever pleases you. Next. So, let's write a program in Java to perform the below. Input the amount of numbers a user wishes to input. Perform the sum and average of the numbers. Display the sum and average. Donc, regardez comment j'ai fait ça. Import java.io.star, class on num, int num, virgule, average, int sum est égal à 0, int k array, new int array 30, so array size maximum, let's say we're going to have 30 numbers, input, input stream reader, new input stream reader, buffered reader, system.add.println, enter the number of values user wish to input. String str is go to br.readline, num is go to integer.parseint on bracket str. C'est bon. So it has been input, then we've converted it to a number. Now, the person has input how many numbers he's going to input to do the calculation. So now, for int i, i less num, depending on the value here that's going to be input by the user. Si la personne met 5 numéro, 5 numbers will be 5 times the loop will be run. So here, k, okay, k, i. For my for loop here, k level 0, I'm going to take an input here, beyond the tree line. Then that value that has been input will be stored in ki. ki is the position k0. It does the loop again. Now first, before continuing here, k0, let's say the person has input 25. So the sum here, it's 0. We have assigned 0 here. For the first time, it's 0 plus 5. 5 will now be stored in sum. Next number goes k position 1. The person has input, let's say, 38. So then 38 will be added to 5. Donc, à chaque fois, the, this loop is going to continue to be done. Every time it's going to be run, the sum will be added. At the end, we're going to get, when it's going to exit the loop, we'll have the latest sum. So then average is equal to sum slash num. So it's going to divide with a value that has been input here to be, so that we can calculate the average. Sum is equal to, this is going to be displayed because it's between inverted commas, then the value of the sum will be displayed. Average equal to, avg, but the average will be displayed. So when we are calling the functions. Now let's see. This is num demo one num demo one dot java java num demo one enter the number of values user wish to input allons dire je vais mettre six numbers so six times the loop is going to run the first number 45 34 33 23 12 89. Here we get the sum and here we get the average. Good. Next one now. Multi dimensional array. A multi dimensional array is defined as an array of arrays. We can imagine the data in a grid of rows 
and columns. Rows, columns. Int array A, new int array. But two indicates for number of rows, or three indicates for number of columns. In this case, int array, another way of uh, defining, assigning values to arrays, it's through this. Curly braces, curly braces, curly braces, curly braces. So here we have one, two, three, four rows and three columns, values for three columns. So let's see a, a program. Import Java dot IO dot star class mat array int array a new int the size of the array void display so first row first uh, first column first row second column first row third column third row uh, fourth column fourth column here it's first row uh, second row sorry here third row now to display this the values input for int i is equal to this one represents row the first for loop represents the row what's going to appear in the row here it's the column so the first for loop it's always for the row and the second for loop is for the column so since values will be in the intersection of rows and columns so the value will be printed here print because i want it to be printed if it's the first row it can't go in the next line so it has to be in the same line that's why it's print the value will be displayed which row which column then it's going to have a space it's going to do it four times and then once it's completed, the first row completed because it's done four times, it comes here, goes to the next line, and go back up, and does the second row. And so on, so that we get the output. Now let's see it's malt demo. Let's run malt demo and see. And here it goes. These are the values. Voilà. Uh, 15, 25, 38, 52, as I told you, first row, second row, 10, 29, 24, 22, 18, 28, 24. So that was it for single dimensional and two dimensional array for this session. Thank you.